Hello again. In this video, we're going to be personalizing the Tyrannus. We're going to be getting rid of the annoying... Or Welcome to OpenTX. It sounds terrible. I'm uh, going to put my own personal splash screen on there. I'm going to upgrade the firmware to the latest 2.2.1 firmware. And I'm going to upgrade the contents of the SD card with a different sound pack so that we can get better voice prompts. The first thing I'm going to do is change the friction setting on this uh, throttle. You can hear how that's sort of a ratchety uh, rough feel to it. I just I want that to be smooth and to do that we need to open the radio and just tighten up and loosen off some springs. Now we're just going to open the back of the radio. I've just got a nice bit of padding there to rest it on so it doesn't damage my gimbals. And we just need to unscrew these six screws. Better unplug the battery as well. You also need to loosen off these uh, two front switches because they sort of bridge the join. Just loosen them off, then you can remove the back. Just fold it back like that. Now, first thing to do, mark which way goes up with these two switches because they fall out and when you put them back in position, you always tend to put them back the wrong way. So this is the throttle side. This side spring here gives you the ratchet effect. You can see that little divot there. So if we loosen this spring off, tighten up this spring, we'll get a smooth throttle action rather than a ratchety one. Loosen that off. So that stopped the ratchety feel. And then you can adjust the tension on this spring to make it lighter or heavier friction. I'll just loosen it off a bit. There, I like that now. Good, that job's done. Now we're going to upgrade the firmware and show you how to connect the radio to the computer. First thing we need to do is download OpenTX Companion. So we have to search for the OpenTX website and it's open-tx.org and then we go to the downloads page. There are a few other useful things we'll find on the downloads page too, and I'll explain all about them. And in the OpenTX 2.2 branch, you see a list of the latest firmware or OpenTX companion downloads. Uh, we're going to go for 2.2.1, which is the latest stable release. What we're actually doing here is downloading OpenTX companion, not actually the firmware. So you download the OpenTX companion uh, disk image for Mac or EXE file for PC install it on your computer. I'm not going to show you how to do that. If you don't know how to do install apps on your computer, you probably shouldn't be messing around with this stuff. But here it is. I've already opened, uh, I've already loaded it on here. Uh, and also from that downloads page, there's a couple of other things we can download. Here's the SD card contents. We need to update the SD card contents. That's where all the sound prompts are stored and all the model images and a lot of other stuff as well download that, unzip it and this is the contents of that zip file and you need to first of all back up what's already on the SD card then delete it from the card and then copy all of these files over to the SD card and that ensures you'll have the correct sound prompts and also on the downloads page we'll find the Tyrannus model icons which are the little pictures you can put on the model screens and you need to download the appropriate ones for the Tyrannus, which are different to the 9X and the Tyrannus Q, uh, X7. These are all the icons available. There's hundreds of them for lots of different planes and quads and helis and all that sort of stuff. You just click on the ones that you want to keep and they'll download to your computer and then put them somewhere that you can find later on. And we're also going to update this splash screen too. From the downloads page, you can click on the Tyrannus start screens here are all the pre-made Tyrannus start screens and again you can just click on these and download them and uh, when you're flashing the firmware you can also upload a new splash screen. What I'm going to do is actually make up my own splash screen and it has to be 212 by 64 pixels and saved as a PNG file type. Now to connect the radio to the computer we need to learn the three finger salute which puts the radio into bootloader mode and what we do is we hold the two trims in two horizontal trims in while we're turning it on then let it go that puts it into bootloader mode then we can plug the transmitter into 
the computer using a mini USB plug, mini USB cable I should say. We get two drives showing up on the screen. The first one is Tyrannus, that's the radio itself. That holds the firmware and the model file. We don't touch that one. The other one is called No Name and that's the actual SD card. That holds all the model images and the voice prompts and Lua scripts and things like that. We can add and edit things on the on the actual SD card itself. Now some of the things we can do with Companion, we can open a new model page, uh, insert a model, we can inputs, mixes, outputs, all those sorts of things. We can do all the setup on the screen here and transfer it back to the radio which is a nice quick and easy way to do it. If you have other models saved onto the computer or a model file uh, you can open them up using this one here. You can read the models from the radio, we'll do that. There we go, these are the models I already have on the radio. You can edit them, save them back on you can even simulate that on the radio there and it acts just like the radio would. We can back up the radio firmware, uh, read the firmware from the radio. Uh, we can back up the whole radio which is a good idea and OpenTX Companion will automatically do that if you pick those options anyway. Very good thing to do and here we can uh, write the firmware to the radio but first of all we need to set up the firmware so we'll, we'll pick settings and Pick all the options that you want. You can set up a radio profile so you can call it up <coughs> next time. Choose the menu, language, choose different selections here. Uh, what I'm going to do is get rid of the heli screen so that you click that no heli. Um, I don't really want global variables so we'll get rid of that one. And there are other things there you can um, investigate as well. PPM microseconds, that shows PPM values in microseconds rather than percentages. Uh, Lua scripts if you want them. Lots of fun stuff. And this is where we put uh, the personalised splash screen in here. This is an image that I've made up myself. Uh, you just go searching for that image. There it is there. Or any other splash screens that you've saved that you might like. Make sure that's selected there. Uh, you can set up a structure path for the SD card to back that up if you want to. Define the stick modes and all that sort of stuff. Check for updates. Here we download the firmware and we can download the SD card contents here as well. Uh, or we do it via that downloads page that we were looking at. And now to burn the firmware to the radio, we click this one here. Make sure you choose the version of the firmware you've just downloaded. It'll check for hardware compatibility. And then you just click right to, to transmitter and it'll go through the routine of burning the new firmware to the transmitter. Let's look at the SD card contents. I'll open up the SD card and uh, in images here, this is where all the images, uh, the model images are displayed and we can have a quick look through them. Lots of things to cho choose from. If when you uh, download the new SD card contents and there's nothing in here you need to put your own images in there and you can you can find them on the downloads website like I showed. And sounds. Now this is where uh, all the voice prompts get stored. The English language is in a folder called EN. This was the original English folder. You can see all the WAV files there. I've actually copied a new English folder in here. This is the Amber Sound Pack which is a sort of a, a nice soft seductive female voice. Everyone loves Amber. So you basically find the sound pack that you want. Copy the English file into this sounds folder on the SD card. Rename the old one and you've got the new sound pack on your radio. Now what I'm going to do is get rid of that annoying uh, welcome to OpenTX. Uh, so we have to go into the SD card and open up the sounds folder, open up the English folder, open up the system folder and then search for the hello.wav file which is the OpenTX sound and all you have to do is delete that or rename it and all I've done is uh, put an X in front of the name so now that has effectively uh, turned off the splash screen welcome. Now when you disconnect the radio you need to remember to eject these two drives like that, now we can disconnect. And finally I'm going to show you some of my uh, sort of programming tweaks, basic things that I do for each model. First of all I'm going to do some global functions, so long press the menu to get into the radio uh, menu and we'll page across to global functions and these little programming lines affect every model on the radio. First one is to get the SD logs 
recording whenever the SA switch is in the middle position and that's sort of my arming switch when I arm the model I want it to start recording logs onto the SD card so that's select the switch good thing about the Tyrannus is once you when you go to select uh, an input of some sort you just have to operate that input and it will select it so that's the a SA switch in the down position I want the SA switch in the middle position so that's the SB switch uh, but yeah as I said I want the SA switch in the middle position so that's selected uh, choose the function that you want I want SD logs and I want them to record every uh, half a second so that's done that will always happen with every model I also want to make the right slider a volume switch so we select on different selections there on is just one of the choices or that means it's always on volume and choose the right slider and tick it to make it active so now my right slider will turn the volume up and down so I don't annoy my buddies when I'm flying with a vario sound or uh, altitude being read out all the time uh, so there are a couple that I do now for each model so we page across to special functions and special function I have for pretty much every model is a safety switch so when I have my SA switch in the up position I'm going to override channel 3 which is my throttle channel I'm going to drive it to minus 100 which is fully down basically tick it to make it active so now whenever the SA switch is up the throttle will be inactive and I actually have to switch it down to be able to operate my models so there we go that's fully personalized now I've gotten rid of the welcome to OpenTX I've put my own splash screen on here updated the firmware let's have a look at the firmware eh? firmware is version 2.2.1 that's good we're on the latest I've added a different sound pack I didn't actually show you how to put the amber sound track on basically you've got to search for the latest version of the amber soundtrack I'm sure you'll be able to find it have a look in RC groups download that sound pack copy the EN folder into the SD card sound folder uh, and rename the previous EN folder and you're good to go with a new sound pack that'll do for this one any programming suggestions you might like to see just let me know and thanks for watching